two thoughts for the morning here. Uh, number one is to make a very large, maybe for dummy style book about um, all the types of synthesis. Because I started to write them down and I'm like, this just keeps going and going. And uh, there's, uh, you know, 20 very significant ones at least. And there's so many now, it's like, how do you, how do you navigate these waters? So that's when it's book time. Because uh, the problem with the video format is it's not really well organized. There's just something about it. Like you, you can't seem to commit the way you can to a book and you can't really search through the text as it is. I mean, maybe in the future they'll transcribe the uh, text automatically or something from the videos. But anyways, um, so this could be like my other book that I made, which was the Melda production um, you know, overview of all their plugins, simplified guide. Um, <clears throat> because that's my thing is like I see a lot of complexity and I try to simplify it for me so anyways the thought is to make this book about you know this the many kinds of synthesis because I was actually going to include the types of synthesis in the Melda guide and then I realized this is a whole nother thing this is too much and this is significant because um, one of the key things of um, you know modern music is understanding what's what kind of uh, articulation you're actually hearing, or what kind of synthesizer are you hearing, what kind of synthesis are you hearing, what kind of physical modeling or whatever are you hearing, and uh, what is actually propagating the sounds, and what's the origins of these, these concepts, and you know, who is the main players, and who, what about everybody else, and all these kinds of things. So it really is, I mean, it's at least, it's an encyclopedia, really, if you really want to go nuts, which is, you know, my specialty. So. Um, that's one element. Now the other element was a, sort of a political thing, which is, is talent really just another drug? Because a lot of people have always thought I was a stoner um, because of my musical skill and also I just, I guess I act like it. Uh, I try to stay pretty nonchalant and mind my own damn business, but um, anyways, so my drugs have always been just music and my man side, my man, you know, stuff, which I won't go into. But my my point is, is that I've never actually taken any kind of either pharmaceutical or uh, illegal or even legalized now any any drugs that are like to that level. So in other words, <clears throat> my my thought was, my the music itself always acted as a drug to me uh, because it had this effect of this dynamic range of experiences. So. That brought me to the thought of, you know, are these high vac technicians, are they experiencing something like this when they're, you know, younger and they have this 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 idea to do this uh, through their parenting or whatever, um, and, you know, the, to keep going with it, you have to have like this seduction that goes beyond the normal um, the normal emotional range where you would just do something for a while and then stop, uh, whereas with the the addictive quality for me it's like you know when I'm in the music making space I'm literally like not in this world anymore um, for a second I mean it's not like some weird trippy thing and it helps that I drink caffeine which is my lesser you know my uh, what do they call that the drug the lesser drug or whatever you know so you don't go to the the more advanced stuff but anyways um so yeah that's just the thought like how many people like who are in technology or doing AI who are doing um, um, all of these things, I would say probably a high percentage, especially since I lived in San Francisco for 12 years, I mean, the whole town is baked. So that's one element of it. But but I think also, like, it's addictive to do to accomplish things. So what I guess the ultimate thing is, does productivity, and I'm one of the most prolific people that I know, and it does, does it facilitate a drug effect? And it's sort of like, where you look for the little thumbs up on your video or the number of views on your you know, Facebook posts or whatever. Um, that's an, an inducing effect that is like, you become sort of dependent on it. Like every day, it's like, if you have uh, cake every day, you might wanna have, you know, you might look forward to that. And that becomes like a loop, right? Because that's what the drugs do, they make the loop. And I guess it's a question of how hard the loop solidifies with certain kinds of people. And so that made me wonder, it's like, so is there a, some sort of drug-inducing experience? And then it's also ac accelerated or emphasized with other substances, you know, to become uh, a musician, to become uh, narcotics people, to become, uh, you know, <coughs> uh, 
actress or actor, you know, all of these trades, a cook or whatever. So you have a loop of like the lesser drug, uh, which is the, the reality drug, but then you have the, the drug of the skill. I guess that would be the encapsulation. So the drug of the skill, we'll cut it off at that. Bye-bye.